Welcome everybody to a little bit of a special uh, video here on the DF16 channel. I've been playing a lot of demos this week for uh, the, during the Steam Next Fest, the demo days. You guys should check it out. There's a lot of great games. This was one of them. I played a little bit and then I thought, you know what? Why don't I turn this into a YouTube video and show some people? Maybe they haven't heard of this game. Steam World's a fantastic game. There was Steam World 1 and Steam World 2. They were kind of side-scrolling platformers from what I remember. But uh, this one is a city building game. So let's give this a run. I'll show you how it works. And uh, I actually think it's kind of cool. It's very similar to to Anno 1800, so I thought some people watching my channel might enjoy it. There's a whole intro with a story and everything else, but I'm gonna skip the intro. If you're interested, this game is free right now as a demo on Steam. You can go and check it out this week, I believe. Um, anyway, they're all robots. All the people in this in this world are robots. Yeah. And they're trying to get off the planet. And to get off the planet, they need to get to the center of the Earth. So, anyway, you guys can check out the intro if you like. In order to get to the old tech and escape this rock. But it's got this really weird, like, vibe of, like, a country western, like, the fr western frontier, North America, you know, in, in the, the Wild West days. These, like, kind of ranchers, frontiers people. And, uh, except they're all robots. So, the types of things you're doing. Yeah, she hears some weird noise hear here. This will come Somebody up later. Probably just some old hinges on the mineshaft elevator that are creaking. We'll get working in no time. You better. I'll be ruined if this doesn't work out. You hear? This is the ruined. the fat cat mayor, I, I, I guess, get or something. Get the city up and running first and foremost, though. Squeeze the area for resources <laughs> and the people for all that they're worth. Typical corporate That's overlord. That's harsh, ma'am. Just get it done. Okay, so they start you off with this uh, very basic farm here. Oh, uh, sorry, it's not a farm. It's a train station. It's all dilapidated. We need to repair it, but this is also kind of a tutorial, so they're going to tell us what to do. Uh, we can repair, but we can't because we don't have enough workers. 120 workers, four wood. So let's get some worker residences up and running here. Um, let's see. Why don't we build a road? Down here. Build some workers. Uh, let's go like that. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. We'll just make a square block. I know it's boring, but uh, we're not it here for the beauty here. We're we're gonna do that later. For now, we'll just build six workers. And now, uh, now that these worker residents, they kind of tell us this is the worker residence. This is what you get when you build one. They're gonna pay taxes. They're gonna generate workforce. Right now, their needs are not satisfied. They need a marketplace. That's what that icon is, and you can see it down here in a second. So they'll tell you if issues arise, they'll tell you needs not satisfied. Let's fulfill their needs, and then their satisfaction goes up. Once it reaches 100, you can unlock the next tier of citizens. This is how much money and workers each building is generating. As you give them more and more of what they need and want, that number will change. So let's put this like that in the middle. There's our marketplace. Goods. Goods, goods. The owner's name is Good, Mr. Good. So, Goods, Goods, never mind. Um, okay, we do need some more. Oh, you know what? I should be a little bit careful. I don't want to use all my wood just yet. Uh, okay, so there's the beginning of our little town. Now, let's get a mill up and running. Now, you can click on Forester. You can see every 15 seconds, the Forester is uh, doing his thing here. Every 15 seconds, it turns wood into into timber. Now, look, you can see the AOE. I have to place this building where it's going to grab the most trees here. There we go. Something like that. And I'm going to put another one over here. And you can see where they're overlapping. So it's kind of sweet. It shows you. There we go. Let's get that there. And now we can build a road joining those two. And then, uh, let me see. Oh, so close. There we go. Oh, that kind of looks ugly, but whatever. Uh, okay, so those guys are going to feed into the mill. The mill every 15 seconds. So 15 seconds to 15 seconds. Let's get uh, let's get a mill going somewhere in here. These aren't trees. Yes, okay. It tells you the fertility level. Fertility 100. Maximum workers here. Not connected to a warehouse. Sure, sure, sure. You can put item slots. So each production building can have its own item equipped to it, which is kind of cool, but... Alright, let's put a couple mills here, and then we're gonna need a warehouse for all this stuff to go to. Uh, let's put the warehouse here. Okay. So now wood is coming in. These guys are gonna be taking it to the mill, 
The mill is going to be taking it to the warehouse. And you can see... Ah, we're minus 18 workers. We do not have enough workers here. So let's get some more buildings going. Uh, houses, that is. House buildings. Okay, and we're out of wood. So we'll just blueprint those. Uh, and the way it works, I think, is if you blueprint the building... Okay, you know what? Let's do that. And then I'm going to I'm gonna demolish this. Okay. Yeah, as soon as the you get enough resources to build it, it'll just automatically build it if you blueprint it. So, what else do these people need? They need a service shop. So we go over to the workers. We can see all the things that they can build. Let's give them a service shop to service these bots. Uh, need a few more workers. Our shortage is dwindling here. Three. The workers are growing. As soon as we get enough workers, we'll be able to start pumping out all the wood. There's decorations you can build as well. Let's build a fence here. Costs some money, but it's fun, so let's do it. We'll close this off. Putting random decorations down while we're waiting here. There we go. Okay. Uh, cactus farm is the next thing we need. Because these people need water. Cactus water. So let's go back to the workers. We click on cactus farm here. Uh, let's put the cactus farm up here somewhere. Maybe like that. And then once that's built, we can put in the, uh, the fields for the farm. Now it's going to produce every 15 seconds and that's it. Cactus farm makes cactus water. Don't need any other production buildings there. Uh, it does require 15 workers. We have 22 extra now. Gonna have to lay out some more worker houses here. Uh, and I guess we'll just do another block, but we're gonna wait for this to get filled up here. Five wood. So a few more pieces of wood and we should be good here. Now, there is something, unlike Anno, you cannot increase the individual production of these buildings. Uh, you know, these people are gonna produce as fast as they produce and that's it we can't uh increase their worker production to and you know make them unhappy or whatever i do want to build a road out here at some point we're going to develop this other area we're probably going to need to hit that forest there's also this back here this is the mine and we're going to need to get there but we need engineers to get in there so we can't do it yet farms require fields okay yes so the farm is done you come over here and the cactus farm shows you the fields so, one out of three, you can see over where I'm hovering there. Uh... Hmm. Could put this here. I don't know if I want to block this off completely. Yeah, maybe we will. Sure. There's our cactus farm up and running, pumping out that cactus water. You can see those cactuses getting pummeled. There's the water. Like, the buildings look super cool. Look at this warehouse. It looks so awesome. <laughs> you just drop that box. Does that disappear? Okay, now he's telling us we need a charcoal kill. Oh, yeah, the warehouse comes and picks it up and puts it. Oh, he drops it out of the second floor and then it puts it into the. gives it to the guy on the top floor. It's kind of awesome. Okay, so we need charcoal kilns, I believe he said, or the next thing. A charcoal kiln is a must in any city. We need 120 workers, though, to get there, so let's build some more houses. Uh, get that road here. Okay. Now we can get the charcoal kiln running. So it requires wood turning it into charcoal. Every 30 seconds, one of these kilns will turn wood into charcoal, convert logs to charcoal. But the, the wood is made every 15 seconds, so I'm going to put another wood production thing out here somewhere. Look at that. That's, that's a lot of wood there. Okay, and then we'll have the road come over here. Sure. And then we need two charcoal kilns. Can that... Oh, it's so close. So close to fitting in there. Damn. You know what? Uh, I'm going to bulldoze this then. There we go. Fix that up. Charcoal kiln. Damn it. Still? No? 
Oh, it's because I'm missing boards. Okay, no, that does fit though. Okay, so those are gonna get built once the boards come in. I like that. You can just blueprint it and then bam, it happens immediately. So these guys are gonna be able to go to those charcoal kilns. This guy reaches all the way to the warehouse, so that's where he's actually going, but that's okay. Okay, so we are giving them everything they need. They do need the train station built here, and that's the next thing we're going to do. We have 120 workers now. 160, actually. So we're going to repair this. We just need some wood. That charcoal is going to be up and running first, and then we're going to repair the train station. And that's it. The, the game, you just keep building, keep uh, doing different stuff. Beautify things. Uh, could put a sign in here somewhere. There we go. Ta telling you to go, yep, yeah, that's production. That's factory road over there. Lots of different signs and different stuff you can build. Different trees and stuff. Kind of cool. Uh, this is the item tool, so you can click on a building, put items in there. We don't have any, of course, so that doesn't do anything. Six wood. I presume our charcoal is up and running. It is... Let's get this train station fixed. Bam. The old girl up and running again. We'll okay. Be able to ferry in supplies much easier. So the train station is how you trade. Wait. What's that? Well, look here. Someone was hiding back there in the shadows. All right. Don't mind, no. Not oh, hiding. Sorry. Let me get that off the screen. Apologies. The train is running. Hello. It's just an old rusty. So as soon as we repair it, my enforcer throw him out. The guy who runs the train station yep. shows up. Ooh, there's the enforcer. I haven't messed with that guy yet. I don't know what that guy does, but yup, it's on his brass knuckles there. I don't want to be a stranger. I am the trader. This is what I do. Yeah. I think I can conduct all your trade. The train listens to me. That sounds mighty helpful, partner. Welcome aboard. I will join. The rumbling of the ground scares me. Why can't I remember? So as you fix things, these guys are getting bigger and bigger. So it explains the train station. It gives you access to trade, the ability to buy items that boost the efficiency of your city. So here are the trades. We have zero ongoing trades. Here are the different items you can buy, and they are not cheap. 15, 25, 15 grand. And rubies. Rubies, you, they, they give you five to start with, but uh, that's it. So yeah, we can't afford any of this stuff yet. Uh, but the train comes, yeah, it tells you every five minutes, four minutes and 31 seconds here, and you can actually see it moving along. So I could trade, I could say, yeah, to trade a resource, select the resource you want to sell, and then select the resource you want to buy, and it'll tell you the rate. And then you can, the amount that you want to go for, and then create trade. So with just money, we're paying a thousand bucks for one wood, that's crazy. What about this? We're paying 25 water for one wood. I want to use the charcoal, I think, that's probably worth the most. Yeah. Yeah, one charcoal for 300 bucks, basically. So we'll be doing that in a second here. Uh, you've unlocked a new tier of citizen. Okay, so now we can upgrade to engineers if I want, which I will do. Let's upgrade these. Now the engineers have their own set of needs, so all these workers are 100% satisfied. Uh, now, what? Coal is going down? Need is 87% fulfilled. Why? You can click over here and see our window. Uh, our balance sheet administration window. It gives you an overview of all your resources. So here it tells us the balance. We're producing a plus eight wood every cycle. Uh, 2.2 water every cycle. This is the, the, the surplus. We're producing, um, well, I'll show you in a second. Select like the resource, see the balance over time, items. So here's producing. We're producing 12 logs and using all 12. We're producing four water and only using 1.8, giving us a balance of positive 2.2. Coal, we've got positive 2.5. Ah, moonshine we need. Okay, so this is for the new citizens. Uh, we don't need coal. So what I am going to do is set up a trade for coal. I'm going to give coal, and I want... Tools, moonshine. I'm just going to trade for tools right now. Let's go four coal for two tools. Yes. So now that's a trade that's going to happen every five minutes. Every time the train arrives, we're going to do that, make that trade. So we've got moonshiners here. So the moonshiner requires sand sifting factory into glass blower. This produces every 15 seconds, requires 10 engineers. This produces every 30 seconds. So we need two glass blowers for one sand mine, 15 engineers, so that's 30 engineers for two glass blowers, plus 10, that's 40 engineers to get that sand sifting and glass blowing. 
And then Moonshine requires another 10. 50 engineers. And this, uh, this produces every 30 seconds, and the cactus is producing every 15. So we can actually afford to, to do this, because we're overproducing. Yeah, we have more than double the cactus. So I don't need another cactus farm, but I definitely need more workers. So let's upgrade those guys. We have, we have no wood. Uh, the workforce is from workers is essential, yada yada. Could build a saloon for them here. Yeah, there we go. Actually, hold on. There we go. Repair the mine shaft. Yes. Why does it keep telling me? Oh, because this. Yeah, I know we're short. We're going to get on that soon. So moonshine, sand sifting. So this is another weird building where it shows us the fertility here. Um, the refinery will process the coarse dirt of the desert to produce finely sifted sand. The efficiency will depend on the quality of the sand where it's placed. So you can see some spots are green. That's where the best quality sand is, I guess. Could put it up there. Kind of built my city on top of... Uh, I don't think that's the green, the greenest space. It's just in, sh in the shadow there. I think maybe over here? Fertility... And it tells me, fertility 100... It's, it's 100 pretty much anywhere, actually. Hmm. 96. 84. How should I do this? I want to get this mine up and running, too. Um... Okay, let's put it there. And that feeds into two glass blowers, which again, we're going to need more engineers for. And I'm upgrading a lot of workers, so I, I barely have any workers left here. Let's start making some more uh, houses, I think. Okay. Don't even really need any more roads here, but sure. A lot of wood. We need a lot, a lot of wood here. Okay, that warehouse is getting a little full. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna relocate this. Let's, let's actually share this area up here. I think. Okay. Okay, let's get a road. Damn it, 99 fertility. Okay, let's take this. Uh, but as soon as I build a road in there, is that going to affect the fertility? No, fertility 100. Okay, nice. Uh, so that goes into two of these glass blowers. I know that's going to affect fertility here at some point. Okay, let's just put the glass blowers here. And then those will go into a moonshiner. Ooh. Right there. Probably going to need another warehouse to handle all this. Put that there. Okay. Why did this build this first? Uh, whoops. Damn it. Uh, pause. Okay. We need these built. I don't know how to set the priority. Like, I want I wanted to build this first. Maybe I should just stop blueprinting. I'm just blueprinting too much here. I don't know what it's going to build first. Ugh, and the saloon isn't even done. You know what? I'm going to get rid of some of this. Let's do this first, please. This is actually what we should be doing first. 12 wood. You know what? Let's let's buy some more wood. Let's change this trade. All 
Update. Okay. Wow, we have 17 grand? Okay, we can actually buy one of these items. Uh, warehouse item, simultaneous deliveries. Yeah, sure. Buy that. So now we can put that in our warehouse here. Uh, let's just use this one. Edit. Bam. Simultaneous deliveries plus one. So now it's going to be able to handle more traffic, which is good. Uh, waiting for the wood to pile up. There's nine wood. Need ten for one of those. Need twelve for this. Okay. So we let this do its thing. Yeah, we're working on the moonshine. Don't worry. Uh, these guys... Yeah, once they get moonshine, they should have everything they need. There's the saloon up and running. Looks good. Nice little downtown area here. So the worker houses are red. The engineer houses, I mean. It will generate... It will generate engineer... Yeah, workforce if there needs their mat. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's... We're gonna be working on this next once we get to 10 wood. We can speed this up here. Let's speed it up for now. Train arrives in one minute. We'll get a nice little boost of wood then. And, ooh, a fancy wall. Uh... Could put a fancy wall around this, but I don't really care. So, City Upkeep 106. Our overall income is 479. Pretty good. A lot of people generating, uh, generating money here. Generating taxes. Okay, 30 seconds, and the trade is gonna be here. Train. There it is. Train's coming to trade. What is that? Whoa! Oh, look at that. Did not know you could do that. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's another one. Whoa, that gives us random resources? And I guess the maps can get really huge here. I don't know. I don't think there's any other stuff we can click on, right? There's the trade. The train arrived at the station. We made a trade there. Nice. Should give us more wood. There's one of those guys. There's the next one. Nice. So these are the glass blowers. Very cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Oh, look at that. Four grand lying on the ground. I'll take it. Yeah, these little cactus ball, like, tumbleweed things rolling around are really weird. I'd never noticed those before. Can't get back there. Yeah, very calm, very peaceful. You're not fighting a bunch of AI or anything. Okay, so this is all up and running. Let's start the production on this again. And that should get the schnapps coming in. Next thing we need to do is more houses. Because we're minus eight workers here. Actually, you know what? Let's upgrade first. As soon as we get three boards, we can upgrade one more of these engineers. There. Now we have zero workers. But we have, uh, should have enough engineers. Let's build some more worker houses out here. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So now that we've got all that, let's check our production. We're in the green for everything here. Sand, we're producing, yeah. Moonshine, we're producing way more than what we need. Good. We'll start trading that too, maybe. Um, cactus water, we've got a ton as well. Let's just trade... F wow, 25 for one wood is terrible. Cactus water is too cheap. We're not going to trade that. Could trade some moonshine, though. Two moonshine for one board? Man. Um... Okay, let's try that. We have 12 grand, nothing I want to buy. Every time the train comes in, I think the items refresh. Uh, so repair the broken mine shaft. So we've got to repair this thing. This is the mine shaft here. Let's do it. Oh, train station connection. Okay, so let's bring this down. Okay, and now repair. Okay, good job. Now let's head down into the mine. So this is the second kind of part of the game uh, where... Oh yeah, over here you can head into the mine. Mine floor one. All right, we so, made it. 
We ought to set up some quarters for our miners and get started on digging. I feel the place shaking, though. Best we dig slowly. Sure. Indeed. The planet is becoming more unstable by the moment. Proceed with caution. So, I, I played a little bit of this. Where we find this tech we're after? You reckon my daughter will be able to fix it? Control of the old signal was passed on to descendants of those that lived here. And by mm. chance, it was to be your daughter that was granted this most... Control of the old gift. signal. Never doubted she was special, that's for sure. We better go get whatever piece of the tech we can, then. It'll be out there in the dark somewhere. Okay. So this is underground now. There's the mine shaft. So we'll need gold up nuggets to set up our operation. Click the chest by the mine shaft to get you started. There we go. Give us some gold nugs. The instability of the planet is dangerous. If ignored, there will be collapses in the mine. We can place pillars to stabilize it. Unstable areas will be shown in striped blue squares. So if I go to pillar here, yeah, they, they show me. I can put a pillar here. So that's going to support this area. Now, I can start building workers' quarters. So, miners do all our digging. Let's set up their quarters now. The size of the room determines how many miners are recruited. Quarters must be at least nine tiles to function. So, first things first, let's get these guys here. I guess I can't build there, okay. That should be four, six, eight, yeah, more than nine. So now these workers, I can go dig, and I can tell them to dig these areas and make, make room for more workers, basically. There's tools there. Dig that out of there. Dig that out of there. Ooh, we opened up a new area here. So as you dig, you keep expanding this underground area. And when you discover gold and whatnot, they bring it back to the mine shaft and send it back up to, uh, to where you need to go. Okay, so build some more quarters here. And let's tell them to just clear this whole area, please. And then this area. Get those tools. Get that gold. Okay, and as they clear it, you've got to keep coming back and checking the stability. Ah, see, like over here. Got to make sure that we have enough uh, resources to build these pillars. There's all kinds of things you're unlocking down here. So scrap is essential for future construction and production. They want me to go down here and get a scrap thing going. So let's do that. Okay. They'll dig that out. And uh, let's keep building more quarters here. One wood, one gold, and 75... And it shows up here. We got lots of gold, lots of other stuff. Okay, once they clear this stuff out, we should be able to build more, more workers here. Okay. Pillar? Yeah, gonna need a pillar here. Uh, I need to clear this rubble, though. Uh-oh, those rocks falling are a bad sign. Uh-oh, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Stabilize. I had to put it on one of our living quarters there. I don't know why I can't... Yeah, see, this guy's clearing it out. Okay, there you go, buddy. Yeah, clear that, that debris out here, please. Keep building miners' quarters here. Okay, these guys... Oh, we cleared out a whole area here. Keep picking up gold. Get those tools. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, pillar. Yikes. Gotta be careful with the cave-ins here. Okay, so there's a scrap vein. So now, to mine the scrap vein, we need the help of the prospectors. Head back to the city so we can prepare for their arrival. So, you, you set a bunch of tasks for these guys to do, basically. You gotta be a little bit careful, though. Again, with the, uh, the pillars. Can I... Oh, I have to dig this stuff out now, because it collapsed. Let's put another pillar... Here, to stabilize that. And then, maybe we'll come back down here. Let's go back up to the city. Okay. So now we need prospectors. Uh, to get prospectors, upgrade workers into engineers or fulfill the engineer's needs to do the trick. Yeah, we just need six more engineers, it looks like. Let's upgrade one more house here. And uh, you know what? I'm going to upgrade all these as well. There we go. Those two blocks will be all of our engineers there. 
So now we go back down into the mine, and now we can build the prospector's quarters, the second tier of, of miner, basically. Okay. I just want to... I want to have this be all... Oh, yeah, see, you can't. Okay. There. That'll be just the regular dudes. Another pillar there. Don't need any over here. Okay, now let's build the other guys. So these guys take, yeah, wood, gold, and money. The rest and resupply. The larger the quarter, the more prospect. Yeah, the, the bigger this area, the more, more dudes we can have here. So let's just build prospector's quarters down here. And dig this all out. I want all this cleared. Now this is bedrock. Bedrock we can't we can't get through. But uh this guy should be able to clear this pretty quick. And what do we have here? Yeah, we can clear all this as well. Let's put another minor quarter there, fill that out. Mechanics quarters, yeah. Lots of stuff you can do here. Okay, probably need to stabilize. Oh yeah, I need to stabilize this. Relocate that. Okay, there we go. There's some dudes. So now we can tell these guys, yeah, go get that scrap vein. There we go. It's pinged, so those guys should go get it. Pillar? Don't need any pillars? Looking good. Uh, keep digging, folks. Dig it all out. I want all that gone. Wow, what is that? Dirty water. All these resources down here. No idea. So we should consider building a tools maker so we don't have to rely on finding tools in the mine. I guess tools are what you use to, to take all this out, right? Okay, we're gonna need a pillar in here, I'm sure. And more workers' quarters, maybe? I don't know. We have a lot of workers here. I think we're gonna be okay. another pillar there okay back upstairs we're gonna need to build a tool factory so tool maker oh we can also pave the roads uh so let's go tool maker we need scrap from the mine and then that gets us tools so we need every 15 seconds we're gonna be turning scrap into tools and we have wow we have lots of scrap here getting 5.7 a second holy cow so let's get a tool maker up and running we can put that somewhere up here um maybe near the mine Actually. There we go. And that guy should be able to reach all the way over there. He can. And then what is this? The surveyor's office. That's for their needs, right? Yeah, they need a surveyor's office. So they need to be within range of it. It's uh, engineers plan all their projects in this building, making it an essential service for them to be able to do their job. Oh, it's big. I didn't realize how big it was. Uh, hmm. These guys, yeah, they all need a marketplace still, too. Uh, since the engineers are all in this area, maybe I can just do that? That does reach all of them, except the middle one, damn it. Okay, let's put it there. There's the surveyor office. They all get happy. Now they're fully satisfied, and we can upgrade those to the next issue or the next tier. Build a pickaxe maker. Extract ironium vein. Find the first piece of old tech. Uh, okay, so let's go back down. To dig, you need more advanced tools. Uh, you can produce pickaxes and carbide drills in the city when reaching certain milestones. So I can't dig through that yet. Uh, what about all this stuff? Clear all that out. That's bedrock. Clear this out. And we're gonna have to make sure... Okay, this is all stable here. There they go. Look at them attacking that. Yes. Take it down, boys. Nice. Nice work. Probably gonna need to stabilize here. No? No? Perfectly stable? Oh, there, there it is. Okay. Uh, can't put these on the rubble yet. Can you guys clear that rubble, please? Clear the rubble. I don't know how to make them do that. 
Uh, whatever. Let's put that there. Okay. There we go. Uh, so let's go back up to the city. They want us to build a pickaxe maker? I don't know how to do that. Um, and why don't we pave the road here? Keep our production running at max here. Because these guys move faster on paved roads, right? So how do I make tools? Um, build a pickaxe maker. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, here it is. Pickaxe maker is on this. Ah, I need a hundred. I need two more engineers. That's it. Jeez. Okay. So we'll upgrade one more row. Uh, how many of these guys? Yeah, these guys are all within range, so let's upgrade them. Can't I just click on something here to upgrade? No. Let's go to upgrade. Okay, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. There's the engineers. Oh my god, now we're short on workers. Damn it. Okay, let's make some more worker houses here. Okay. Should be good. Alright, so there's a third class of worker that I haven't gotten to yet. Pickaxe maker is here. Requires scrap, requires wood. Uh, we're using all of our wood currently. Yeah, we're producing 12, using 12. So I'm going to need another log farm here. Not a lot of places left to put wood. Ah, down here, perfect. Uh, and then the wood is going to go into the pickaxe maker, which we can put right by the other tools here. Why not? There we go. <laughs> I love these buildings. Look at that. The giant pickaxe maker. <laughs> There's the tool maker turning scrap into tools. Yep. <laughs> okay. How about our trades? Trading's for wood, we're trading for other stuff. Why don't we trade for, ooh, ironium. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need no stinking wood. Ooh, sheet metal. 15 for one sheet metal, yikes. Ah, more scrap. Okay, that looks good. So in three minutes and 50 seconds, that train's gonna come in. Oh, we have lots of money too. Three rubies? Warehouse plus one delivery... Yeah, sure, I'll buy that. That's actually a good item. Um, so we can put that in one of our other warehouses here. These two warehouses are servicing everybody, so let's give this guy... Oh, it shows you all of your items and which ones are slotted in. So now we have one in each of these uh, warehouses. Excellent. Um, okay, so now let's go back underground. And uh, extract the ironium veins. So we have a, uh, gain access to the workshop facility, which allows us to build machines. Facilities have a machine capacity depending on their size. If you need more capacity for machines, increase the size of the facility. Extract ironium vein, find the piece of tech. Okay, so facilities, workshop, scrap extractor. The center of machine production. Every extractor will be constructed here. The size of the workshop determines the amount of machines that can be built. So, let's build a workshop here. And then now we can build this. We need five tools. And we put it... Wow, it's a machine. Okay. How do I... Do I put it here? I can't place it yet because I need tools, but... Um... I guess then, it, it, instead of using these these engineer dudes, we can use, uh, sweet, we can use um, a machine to do it. Yeah, still need more tools. We only have three tools. Uh, let's go back upstairs. 
This guy's producing very slowly. I'm gonna start trading. You know, the, the train's almost here. Let me start another trade here. Uh, wow, we have so much scrap. We have tons of wood. Uh, let's go tools. Wood. We're trading two to one? Oh, yeah, easy. Ten. Okay, there we go. Train's almost here, so once that train arrives, we'll be getting a bunch more tools. That should be good. There's five. Uh, let's go back down. We need how much? Oh, I can do it. Okay, there we go. Bam. The extractor should be up. This guy's coming to build it. Or not. It needs to be installed by a mechanic. What? To install the scrap ex extractor, we need the mechanics. These bots are responsible for building and maintaining our machines in the mine. The size of the quarter. Okay, so we need mechanics. Uh, here we go. Mechanics quarters. Um, put those guys over near the shop, maybe. Okay, and I want another row of these guys, I think. Our mechanic has arrived. They will automatically install any machines you've placed. There he is. Mechanics will also repair any steam bots, machines, or turrets that might be damaged. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's dig the rest of this stuff up, please. And, oh, that's bedrock. Bedrock, dirt, dirt. Oh, I can get rid of all that. Ooh, and there's a chest. Give me that. Money! Okay, I can't, oh, I can dig. No, I can't dig sandstone, right? Okay, this we can dig. This we can dig. And then, I don't know how to cross these chasms, but... Ooh, a bridge! Whoa, we can build bridges at some point. Let's get a pillar here, make sure everything's stable. Okay. There's our machine, up and running. Oh yeah, that thing's chewing through that scrap. Very nice. Okay. A bridge! Now, that's how we get across these. Okay. I guess that is one place to put a bridge. I need sheet metal. Um, okay, let's go back upstairs. This is your money, the yada yada income. Okay, I got it. Um, engineers, sheet metal factory requires ironium. That gets us sheet metal. I don't have access to ironium. I'm not sure where they said. They said extract ironium vein. Where is that exactly? I don't know where this ironium vein is. Oh, I don't have access to that, okay. Um... It must be within reach, because I, I can't... If I build a bridge to get to it... Is this possible to dig through? No, right? Oh! Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Get that treasure chest. Ooh, rubies. Uh, yeah, get all this out of here, please. Oh, because I have pickaxes. I can cut through the sandstone now. Right. Okay, as these guys eat away at this, I'm gonna have to put some, some stuff down here. Oh. Can't put it there? Okay. Yeah, I can't go through bed b brittle bedrock I can do, but not normal bedrock. Damn it. Get rid of that. Okay, let's get some more workers going here. Build another row for those guys. Engineers, I think we're okay. We only have one engineer, but that should be fine. Uh, yeah, these guys digging away here. Another pillar there. Ooh, is there? That's ironium. Okay, ironium vein. So how do I extract the ironium? Ah, these guys. Okay, so maybe I need to build another machine here. Uh, let's go to the machine. Facilities. Workshop. Ironium extractor. Unavailable in demo. Oh, no. Surveillance facility? Yeah, this game gets really deep. But uh, it's kind of sweet. I, I like it. Keep digging that out, boys. And let's keep uh, upgrading their quarters here. Give them another row. That's a lot of dudes. Engineers. Give them another row. Okay. Another one of those. 
Okay, these guys are getting to work on that Ironium. Let's go back upstairs. So, Ironium's coming in. We've got eight here. We're getting two per cycle. So, that should be able to let us build the sheet metal factory here. We'll build this again very close to the, uh, the mine, since that's where all this is happening. Maybe there? Yeah. There's sheet metal up and running. Okay. Sorry, I was still on fast mode there. So, now that sheet metal's up and running... Uh, let's see. Are there any good items here? We're getting tools. We're getting Ironium here. Warehouse deliveries. Ooh. Production speed plus 50%. I like that. Uh, let's put that in the sheet metal factory. Bam. Okay. Looks good. Alright, everything looking good here. We need to find the first piece of old tech. Uh, so I think I need to go back down into the mine. And keep digging? Can't break any of this. Okay, I think it's time to build a bridge. Now that we have sheet metal, we gotta wait for the sheet metal to come in. Bridge costs one sheet metal. Oh, I put it between. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I can I can get this. What is that? Ooh, what is that? An item? Production chance plus 20, nice. Okay, get that out of there. This bedrock we can't kill. Okay, get some stuff. Is that it? Damn, we can't break through there. Okay, get that. Get that. Yeah, I guess I could build another bridge there to go across. But let's see if we can do it this way. Probably gonna have to put a pillar in here. Okay, looking good. Let's get some more engineers here. And, uh... Ooh, hello. Ooh, another Ironium mine. Ironium vein? Dig that, boys. Okay, got another chest here. Ooh, more items? I don't know what that is. Service income plus. Okay. There we go. That should be fine. Okay, let's go back upstairs. What did we just get? Item tool. Uh, tax bonus plus 150. There we go. Ooh, there. Boom. That helps all those guys. And then I got some other thing, didn't I? Production chance. Bonus chance plus 25. Speed 75. Wow. Let's put that in the tool factory here. There we go. That one's in the sheet metal factory. Okay. Super cool. I, I, I think this game is very sweet. Uh, and I hope somebody out there is enjoying it. If, if you've seen me... Ooh, another scrap thing there. If you've seen me play uh, this game on here, maybe it encourages you to try it. Okay, let's put a bridge there and then we'll dig all this stuff up. Okay, we're harvesting that. Everything good here. We are going to have to build another bridge maybe over here. There we go. Okay. Our worker's doing work. Very nice, very nice. Those bridges are awesome. So this is very cool. Like, I, I, I think this is actually a really sweet game. It's complicated, but at the same time, it's kind of relaxing and chill. It's not as uh, intense as Anno. Um, a very sweet game. Okay, that's it. Knocking on bedrock here. All bedrock, all bedrock. I guess we can build some bridges over here. Okay. Interact with the lever to pull it. Pulling levers will unlock connected doors. Follow the colored cables to find the door. Oh. Look at that. Oh, there's a door here. Didn't even see that. Oh, it just opened. Holy crap. Okay, dig that up. Dig that up.
You found a piece of equipment, make it available to your Steam bots by slotting it into their quarters. A quarter can hold three types of equipment, but you can have as many duplicates of the same equipment as you like. Slot your equipment into a quarter? Oh, prospector's quarters, this quarter, okay. But I can't? Ah, recruitment plus three, bam, there we go. Dirty water vein, new rocket part found. Ooh, scrap vein, nice. Let's get on that. Let's uh, stabilize this place. Do we have a... Uh... Oh, yeah. There we go. We just discovered a massive area over there. Nothing here that needs to be stabilized, right? Good. What do I do with dirty water? I have no idea. Get this out of here. Those guys are harvesting that. Get that out of there. Get those tools. What is this? Use the dig tool to start excavating the rocket part. Miners will make their way to the location and start the process. Okay, but first, let me, let's me let just get rid of this out of the way. And then... Okay, six miners. Uh, so you know what? Let's build some more miner quarters here. Give them another row. Okay. Eight engineers, eight miners, lots of dudes here. Beautiful. Cool. Get that treasure chest. These guys are digging for that rocket part. What did we find? More workers? Digging bonus. Uh, is that an item? Yeah, dig speed, move speed. Bam. Pump those guys up. Now they're digging. Now we're cooking with natural gas. I don't know what the dirty water does. Got scrap coming in like crazy here. Could set up some trade routes. Let's get that brittle rock out of there. I think we've excavated pretty much everything here, right? Yeah. Just gotta clean out these rocket parts. Very, very cool. Alright, back upstairs. Got lots of stuff coming in. Oh, that means it's full, I think, those stars. So let's start trading. Uh, let's get rid of... We don't need the tools. I can actually start selling tools for other stuff. Moonshine, money. Sure. Three grand. Let's do that. We're getting some of that. We don't actually need this anymore. Uh, hold on. Instead of this, let's trade for money. This, we're trading for scrap. Let's trade for money. Wood, this, this, everything. Scrap for money. Anything we have excess of. So tools, scrap... Pickaxes, geez, these are probably worth a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, five out of five, so we're using all of our trades here. 50 grand. Recruit bonus miners, production speed, that's pretty good. And this, get both of those. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to put another warehouse in here somewhere to service all this. And this warehouse can have the simultaneous deliveries and the productivity item. I mean, I don't really need any more productivity, but sure. Production speed, delivery speed, bam. We're humming along here. Did we excavate it? We did, look at that. Interact with it to claim it. Old tech has been excavated. Once claimed, the old tech will be added to the Astrodome in the city. Here you can keep track of how much tech you have assembled. The Astrodome. Hold it up to the city and let us prepare for its installation. The first of many, but we must start somewhere. Ain't no telling what'll happen when we start moving that thing. No doubt. When it shakes, they hear it. You have to be ready. We weren't ready last time. Oh. Who hears what? What weren't you ready for? Her with the weird... She's the key to everything. Old Rossbot is talking about, but that song is louder now. It's asking me to come closer. Uh-oh. Whoa. Escape vessel. Escape vessel. Assemble. Six parts. Maintenance overdue. Locate remaining parts. Combine. 
So you're trying to dig deeper and deeper and deeper the whole time, building your city, building your city, till you get get all these parts. What's going on? And then get off the planet. signal speaks. You sure she'll be okay? Your daughter is fine. She will need some time to recharge. What matters now is that we know what we must do. Recover the remaining five pieces of the vessel and put it together so we can escape. I remember that voice. It sounds so old. This traitor was around when the world ended, I guess, before. Okay, wow. Holy crap, what is this? And that's it. There's the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I think it's a very cool game. Go check it out. Steam World Build. Uh, you can wishlist it or what have you, but... Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it, so I, I'd like to just show it to you guys today. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll be playing a few more demos. If you enjoy that kind of stuff, let me know. I'll be putting uh, demos of some of the other games I tried that I thought were fantastic. But until next time, have a great day, great week. Bye!